Yeah, we we over the moon. Yeah, last year this time it was a different story, losing all four games, um, and I suppose losing also allows for you to learn, uh, and we've learned uh, a lot uh, through throughout that last tour. Walking away here with six points and winning the series is just, you know, it's incredible. Um, but you know, you've got to take your hat hat off to um, to the players that never gave up. Um, they believe that things can change, little moments in the game, especially th you know throughout partnerships. Uh, it can be tough. You can drop your head a little bit, but you know we just knew that this these conditions will allow for wickets to fall in clusters. No, no, we're not happy with that. Um, yeah, you know, losing the toss wasn't an issue for me because it looks like these wickets are starting to to turn around in terms of toss decisions but um, you know we, we gave ourselves a platform we had a couple of good partnerships you know we were scoring our boundary percentage was high we we went for over fours and and we just we just keep on getting ourselves out soft um, at times you know run outs just those little things when the momentum is on your side you, you've got to hold on to that and, and you've got to treasure it, you've got to reset. So no, we, we knew that we, you know, especially getting bowled out before the 45th over, you know, we knew that we, we left 40 runs out there. Yeah, you know, the... the I think the, the best way to, to attack is in that power play when the seamers are bowling, the ball is hard, and they, they got a bit of a start. Um, but again, you know, when, when you get into your work, especially with your spinners, getting the ball in the right area, I thought Bernard Schultz was incredible again today. Uh, you know, on another day, you'll get six for, seven for, you know, the way he, he bowled. But it's just it's 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 in that innings you've you've got to you've got to stay connected. Um, as I said previously, the, the, it is a wicket where you can get two three wickets quickly and and apply the pressure back on the batting team. And at drinks when they were going quite nicely with that partnership, um, the message was just guys we have to believe that if if for the next six seven overs. We, we've got to squeeze. It's not about the, you know, getting wickets. It's about applying pressure to get that. And we did that very well. A um, couple of brilliant catches. Uh, Jan Freiling's catch was outstanding to, to get rid of the leader. That's a big wicket. Um, so you need those moments, but you've got to work for it as well. And this team is, is, is willing to, to, you know, to follow the process, work hard to get rewarded. He was exceptional. I mean, if you look at Bernard Schultz, he's, 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 he's not someone that's trying a lot of things. His consistency is, is right up there. That's why he's the best left-arm spinner in the world in associate cricket, in my opinion. Um, I'm very pleased for, this, for the captain, Gerard Erasmus. This series especially, I think he's on 12 wickets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, and, and he has showed because he is a good T20 bowler with a lot of tricks. This format allows for you to rely a little bit more on your stock ball and he's, he's really worked hard on that and he's been rewarded. Last time out, uh, it was Nepal who stopped you from going up with uh, this time it's 14th that's going to be up and you've already got 6 points. So do you think uh, two wins over Nepal is a bit quicker with what happened last time? Yeah, look, it, it, it is. You, you're right, 6 points walking away you know, in Nepal with those points, is, it's gold. Um, especially beating Nepal twice a year, taking the points away from them. It's early days in Cricket World League 2, but we have realised at the end of last year how important that one point was. And you can always go dig for those points in the whole 36 ODIs that you played. But there, there was definitely moments where you can look back and say, when you get the opportunity to grab points, especially away from home, you've, you've got to be ruthless. You have to be ruthless, and I thought today 
that performance by by the, the the Eagles showed that they are gritters, they are fighters, and they believe doesn't matter what the situation is. I've got a lot of respect for that team and what they've done at the World Cup. They've seen they've they've seen the, a benchmark in terms of associate cricket that associate teams can beat full members. We've done it against Sri Lanka and Ireland in World Cups. They've done it now a few times. And when teams are setting those those benchmarks, you you, you either have to follow or you're going to be found out. And that that's a discussion we've had. You've got to you've you've got to beat these teams, and um, you know taking two points away from them, yeah, especially after that first game against them where, where they dominated that result, it's also valuable points. The pressures on on Nepal and and Netherlands now for that last game chasing two points because because it's just it's just very va valuable points that's that's hanging out there for both those teams, but for the rest of Cricket World League too. Um, it, it, it's about making sure that you don't just concentrate on your home uh, home series to win games. You have to be intelligent enough in your planning, etc., to go and win games away from home. And I suppose if I look back, not winning one game in Nepal last year cost us that qualifier. Yeah, obviously the guys are very disappointed. Um, you know, it's a game that we you know should go on and win there um, by all accounts. And uh, yeah, we probably took a bit of our advantage away. Uh, by not executing our skills well enough and credit to the Namibian guys who played with a very disciplined and basic game of cricket and they did that really well so um, deserve the two points. Yeah, I think the wicket was probably better seeing as it was a bit of a slightly later start. Um, but having said that, yeah, we, we obviously leaked a couple of runs and then got a few quick wickets there in the middle. Um, and then they put on a really good partnership, you know, a good 70-yard run partnership, which sort of put them into a good position towards the end of the innings, um, which maybe they didn't quite capitalise on as much as they would have liked. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they put that good partnership together and that was probably the difference between the two teams in terms of the batting today. Uh, are you talking in the bowling innings? In the batting innings. In the innings. Yeah. Yeah, look, I think um, I think the partnerships along the way, you know, a couple of 20-run partnerships and 30-run partnerships and 40-run partnerships are sometimes good enough to get you to a score of 200, but on today, it's not you know not good enough to be able to get you there. So uh, needed, a, needed a bigger partnership and guys to stick around a little bit longer. A lot of guys got a few starts um, and never really converted their, their starts as well. So um, that'll be something we'll be looking at and, and trying to improve on. Not at all. This is a very competitive league and it's a completely different game of cricket than playing cricket out in uh, Pune where the scores are 370 runs um, on average and you know here they're not like that um, and so we've got to be able to adapt to those conditions. Um, obviously they're, um, they're different personnel and we are you know entering a new era in terms of the league that, that we're playing here now so a couple of guys are getting some good opportunities to get some international exposure and you know that's great learning for them. Unfortunately today we are uh, on a losing end in the learning so uh, we'll have to pick ourselves up and come again next uh, in the next couple of days. Yeah, I know everybody's fit to play, so uh, that's a good sign. And um, yeah, we've, we've obviously got some guys arriving for the T20s as well, so um, they'll come and bolster the squad quite nicely, I think, in terms of the, the fast bowling. So that'll be that'll be good to to get those guys involved. Yeah, it's just another game of cricket that we've got to try and play. I think every time we're trying to get the two points, so whether that's a, a big game or not. Um, but yeah, I know they'll be up for it and, and we'll obviously need to be up for it as well. Um, we'll need to play much better cricket than we played today uh, in order to compete uh, and go and win and take those two points.
Yeah, I think um, we've been sort of grooming SR to come back and, and take some overs with the ball uh, in the last couple of weeks. So that's, um, that's something that we've been trying to do, and especially with the left-handers in their team. We're trying to obviously um, use that off-spin option. Um, Tejas obviously had a bit of a groin injury from the first game, so he's just coming back into bowling. So he's quite not quite as fit um, as he should be for from a bowling perspective. But those are options that we've got to try, and especially going into the T20 World Cup, you know, those are guys in the top order that need to bowl some overs potentially. So it's good that they get some overs under the belt. Um, you know, it didn't quite go to plan like you say today, but uh, there were some good signs here that when he does get it right, it, it can be quite effective. No, I think we sort of discussed uh, trying to get to about 170 after 40, uh, which we got to 169. So that was uh, sort of what we wanted, which left us 40 at the death in the last five overs, which I think with the likes of Ruloff and uh, Cherise and Noah and, and obviously Dutty at the crease, um, we think we can get those eight runs and over with some seamers coming back. Uh, obviously, Skultzy bowled incredibly well, you know, nine overs, three for 15, I think it was. And, um, you know, anyone bowling... <laughs> that with those kind of figures is um, is obviously had a good day out. Um, you know, we'd obviously be trying to make sure that we do put a bit more pressure on him, and I think we did that in the first game uh, that we played, but didn't quite do it tonight. And uh, that was that I think was the difference between how we played him today. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll need to try and get better at that next time. Yeah, I think the slightly later start might have aided a little bit. You know, the wickets early in the in the morning is not as easy uh, as we've seen. And even at 10.30, it wasn't easy, but I think it got easier as it went along. Um, I've been saying throughout the tournament that I think there is a template to win batting first. And uh, that was pretty much exactly it. You know, you got to make sure that you get a total on the board and then you, you know, really disciplined and, um, and put the spinners to work in the afternoons. And um, yeah, as you saw, it got quite tough to be able to score at the end. So that's definitely a way to win here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the teams that have batted first so far in this tournament, I think would all put their hands up and say they didn't bat as well as they probably could have to get, you know, those type of competitive scores, which would have led to a lot more uh, sort of close games, I think.